are you data engineer or do you want to plan for becoming a data engineer or you went for any online offline courses and you fed up with the course or the list of content and that is mixed up with ml and data engineer a data engineer or by seeing the different buzzwords in the market and you have any ambiguity while deciding what is a data engineer and what is machine learning or data scientist and are you confused with the buzzwords or are you confused with the topics that revolves around on the same data engineering topic this video is fine okay hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so in this video we're gonna discuss about one of the most interesting and trending topic which is nothing but how to become a data engineer and what is our roadmap to it most of our subscribers also requested on the same topic i know most of you guys have the same thing running in our mind everyone will talk about the a use cases we gen a agent ka and a agents and all but no one will tell about what is our roadmap how can we become a data engineers and everyone will suggest that to become a developers so how to become a developers right so in this video i'm going to discuss about all the steps and complete roadmap in the three months you can able to become a data engineer the expectation for this roadmap is one should have a good understanding about the python and should have a good idea about the data engineering tools and the techniques and he's already as a data engineer if you are already a data engineer and this is roadmap is for you if you are not a data engineer and if you are working in different other domain or different other role or maybe you are in a fresher then this is not for you let me know if anybody wants to do a, another roadmap for to become a data engineer i can make that as well for you with the resources okay so in this video we can see what is the three months complete roadmap to become a data engineer so as i said the ideal candidates are like data engineers and python or spark developers so the prerequisites for this roadmap is they should have a good understanding about the python basics and should have a sql fundamentals and cloud computing basics okay so next we can see about the roadmap so in the first month roadmap we need to understand about the foundations so in the foundation we need to understand uh, different theoretical and practical foundations in AA and LLM. So in the first week, we need to focus on the machine learning, deep learning, large language models, and transformers. Okay. So what is the machine learning? Difference between machine learning and deep learning, and what are the transformers? And we need to understand what are the basics of LLMs and what are the different types of LLMs are available. Okay. And the second week, we need to understand what is the hacking phase. This is one of the most popular framework in the AA world. So we need to understand using transformers library how we can use this hacking phase and how we can set up the LLMs using locally or using Google Colab. As I already made a one video, how we can set up a or LLM in the Google Colab. So you can refer that. I can give that video on the above on the iCard section. You can go and you can refer it. That is very simple and very easy. So next we can go for the next week. That is third week. In the third week, we need to understand the prompt engineering. So we need to understand and you need to implement the master of prompt engineering. It should be master of prompt engineering where you need to understand the deep learnings and uh, you need to understand different concepts, something like what is a good and bad prompting and what is a chain of thought prompting and what is meta prompting. You should understand all those things. Okay. So, so in the fourth week, you need to understand what is a summarizer and what is a QA and we need to build the pipeline APIs in Transformers. And also, you should understand the token app limits and different set of models. And you should be in a position to choose the right model for your QA. So using with any blank chain or a hacking phase. Okay. So next we can go for the next month. That is second month. So that is nothing but week five. So in week five, we can focus more on the long chain and basics of the long chain and integrating long chain with OpenAI and Kohori API. We can take the OpenAI or Kohori AI, both are simple. So in this one, we need to understand what is a long chain and what is a long chain framework and a traditional uh, script based one. And also we need to understand how we can set up the OpenAI API in long chain framework. And also we should understand what are the chains and tools and how we can use that. All those things we will understand. So that is about the week five. Next, we will come to the week six, which is nothing but vector databases. So where we'll understand what is the vector database? What is the difference between the Chroma DB, Pinecone DB, and Wayweight and FIFAS? So there are various vector databases are available. So we need to understand the difference of it. And also we need to understand what are the embeddings, what are the embedding models are available, and how we can do the embedding and how we can search the data from the vector databases. So we need to understand the complete picture about this uh, vector databases in the week six. And you should be in a position to convert any document to a vector kind of a data and will store it into the vector database and should be in a position to retrieve the data from the vector database. Right. And then week seven, we'll talk about the rack model. You see rack system using the long chain or maybe chroma DB. So we need to understand uh, rack uh, long chain framework and also chrome DB architecture. And you should understand how we can retrieve and improve the LLM accuracy. Also, we need to understand what are the pros and cons of the rack, our pure LLM. Right. So 
So we need to understand all the differences. On the rack, I have already made a video using the Databricks and the Lang chain, and I have posted already in the last week. I can give you the video in the end card section. You can go and refer that one. That is very simple and very easy. You can also build on your own. So if once you can build on your own, you will gain the confidence, and you should be in a position to build the rag enabled pipelines or rag based systems. Okay. Next thing we need to understand the locksmith, which is nothing but a framework to maintain the logging and monitoring of any model. We need to understand what is a long smith, what are the benefits and advantages of tracing the long chain, and you know what is error analysis and debugging, how long smith can fit into the Gen AI stack, all those things we can learn here. Okay, so on the third month, we can integrate and we can uh, implement the same thing on the Databricks integration. So, in the final month, you can integrate your knowledge with the Databricks for scalable and uh, Gen AI projects, building the scalable data pipelines on the Gen AI projects. So, on the week nine, we need to set up a Databricks free edition and we can explore the Gen AI and the data lakes. So, as in the free edition, Databricks has launched free edition and it has a lot of uh, LLMs and a lot of models that already been built and they given a uh, framework where you can develop and you can deploy and you can solve your model in a simple steps right so all those things we can implement under the databricks and also we can develop a full drag based model on the databricks and we can implement as i already implemented one drag based model in the databricks platform you can develop a full rag pipeline on the databricks system so that is about the week 10. so on the week 11 we can we need to understand what is the build agentic system using the land graph for complex workflows okay so where we need to understand what is the land graph overview and event based workflows and we need to comparison with the traditional chaining right so the third week i mean the final week week 12 we can be in a position to do some final project where we can build some rag based data pipeline with the help of uh, some chatbot using the chatbot we can able to apply any of the data and also we can able to build the vector databases on top of it on the fly and we can able to implement the rag based system and we can find to the model and we can solve that model to with the different uh, end users right so with the help of jenny kind of jenny is a kind of a that was available in the databricks which can able to uh, query the data using the sql script and it can return the response if even if you can ask in the natural language process right so we can develop something like a model and we can implement that in the database system right so this is complete end to end uh, project end to end roadmap that we can use it and these are the topics that you can go through and you can learn week by week so if you can follow the same roadmap within a three month you'll become a AI data engineer and remember please do remember one thing this is for the one who have who already working as a data engineer it is not for the new one okay so yeah this is about the complete journey so let's get don't waste your time let's get started now and you can start learn on the topic wise and in the next three months it will become a data engineer now we can see what are the resources where you can find all the resources to learn and to become a data engineer so before jumping into that i i have a small reminder you guys i'm expecting only one thing from you that is your support so if you like your content please do like and subscribe to our channel if you have any doubts or you want to give you some feedback to me please add it under the comment section below if you want to connect to me you can connect me on the top link that i have shared under the each section of the pinned comment or in the bio section so the first course if you can see that deep learning AI data engineering professional certificate from the crowd coursera site so this is actually free one where you can enroll uh, before august 8th and it will be free okay and you can see these are the four courses that you can go introduction to the data engineering and source systems and data ingestion and the pipelines and data storages and queries and data modeling and transmission and serving so this is related to more of like modeling okay so you can see all those things like natural language processing machine learning and data pipelines with data data warehouses Hadoop, and all those things that they have covered it i uh, hope this was free you can uh, try this one so you can try this and you can uh, also become a, a data engineer okay so this is the one thing that i can recommend i haven't gone through this one but i found it as a free one so i'm just uh, recommending it uh, but don't just comment me that i have i have gone through or i'm promoting or something no nothing that i'm just giving it uh ours is very very small channel don't think that i'm doing some promotion or that no one can give the promotions to me okay so yeah that's about that next if you want to go with some udemy courses with some small investment yes you can go to this course so generate ai for data engineering and the professional uh, it does not have any ml models and uh, ml related stuff building the model and other things but this is a very basic and fundamental course a uh, each and every data engineer should go through it even uh, for this course i have gone through this course and i can give five out of five he has put full his effort to uh, explain the how generative ai can help the data engineering or data engineers to improve their productive productivity in their projects right so we have covered a lot of topics like how we can set up the environment what is the data generation and augmentation writing data engineering code with gen AI, right so gen AI engineering tools how we can parse and where we can extract the data from pdf files and various different set of files 
and how we can uh, querying out the data like even if you do not know how to write the sql how we can leverage the gen ai and how we can uh, generate the sequels and how we can analyze the data and also how we can implement in data enrichment normalization and standardization as well right so there are uh, so many ways that so many places that we can leverage the open ai or any other llm and we can improve our productivity so in this uh, course he has explained very well about uh, how we can leverage as a data engineer how we can leverage this gen ai for our day-to-day -day use cases i think it was around uh, 800 rupees so i can say this is really worth watching it if you want you can go and worth watching it okay so that is that and next one i can uh, say that building a application with databricks and gen ai so this is actually very very low rated course but i can say it's okay because it comes around uh, 1700 okay so and it was if you see the content it was more related to the data engineering content like how we ingest the data from s3 to unity catalog and how we can you build the branch data and how we can load the data from into you know from branch or silver to the gold layer and how can we implement the vector search and embedding model something like a building the rag model and how you set up the model serving endpoint and build the streamlit chatbot application right so yeah these are this is a kind of a uh, simple rag model like how can you been built on top of the databricks platform so yes you can also go through this one uh, but this is actually very very low, low rated and uh, have some negative feedbacks as well but be careful before you are going there so instead of going this one i can recommend another uh, another course which is nothing but uh, this course data and ea data and ea azure databricks and uh, this guy uh, the author is kuljot singh and uh, this guy is actually a uh, student and he has explained these topics very very clearly and with uh, high quality of the you know data and he has given a lot of uh, coding stuff as well so you can go through this codings and you can explore that as well and he has explored even about apache spark and sql how we can do and all those things and he given the basics about the ml learning and how we can use the azure databricks ml topics and ml flow all those things that he, have, that he has given and uh, generate uh, essentials and he has given from uh, you know beginner to pro level so he has given the complete information and also he given the generative way and also databricks and also how we can build the agents in the azure databricks and how we can build the multi-agent system with uh semantic kernel sdk so yes i have gone through this course and uh, this was uh, uh completely worth watching it close under uh, 3k but it is completely worth watching uh so it is actually 4.8 so highest rating on the databricks one so once we can uh th this can actually help you out to become a, a data engineer especially on the databricks platform because that is only one platform that we can get uh familiarized with and uh, has offered uh, most of the AA features okay so and that's where we can leverage even in our day-to-day -day activities to improve our productivity right so yeah these are the courses that i can recommend uh, and also i have one other course which is a uh, bit costly so if if you are okay on the funding side like you can invest uh invest to learn uh, about the complete end-to-end -end data engineering right so i can also recommend this course this is actually generative ai uh, for data engineers and uh, master generative ai for beginner to pro level and this is offered by the scholar net uh the author i think most of you know the author uh, he's actually Prashant Pandey. Uh, so he has a lot of courses that he has posted even in the data Udemy as well around the data bricks, around the data engineering, Python and uh, uh, you no know, Spark structured streaming, Delta Lake, Delta Live tables and all other areas. So I think uh, I haven't gone through this course, but I can guess it the content that he can able to deliver. Like he's really uh, quality content that he can post it all the time and uh, he can explain the topics in depth and in detail and uh, he will cover the internals you know, with much clarity. So with that, I'm saying if, if, if anybody wants to go on it, yes you can, i can also recommend to go this and uh, i uh, currently it was around you know twenty three thousand. Uh, so maybe during this uh independence he is offering some discounts like if anybody wants to go in it you can uh, go in it uh but that is up to you but i'm just guessing it's uh, quality of content because i'm seeing his previous uh, courses as well in the udemy and the other platforms and those are really really good compared to other uh tutors uh, right so that's why i'm recommending so yeah yes guys so this is all the content that i wanted to share it to you and uh as i said earlier this is only for the engineers who are already working as a data engineer and to become a data engineer not for the freshers not for the uh not not for the one who is working in a different roles right so yeah if you like the content please do like and if you have any doubts or anything please add it to the comment section below if you wanted to give some feedback please add it in the comment section below and if any one of you has gone through these courses and if you want to share some feedback you can share it in the comment section because that can actually help to other uh, students or other uh, guys that to you uh, know take a decision whether they can go and purchase it or not okay yeah with that uh Please let me know if you want your video on the data engineering course as well i mean data engineering roadmap along with the course uh, along with the resource details i can also make that one okay thank you we'll meet in the next video